Advertisers are well known for making outrageous claims, and we consumers are generally lazy <laughs> or dumb enough to fall for it. And the motorbike industry takes advantage of this. Some brands spend big money on racing. Subconsciously, we think if this brand wins so many races, then I will also be a winner. Or if the best riders are on this brand, I will be a better rider if I own that brand too. Or buy a Ducati and this will be your next girlfriend. Manufacturers can be very deceptive when it comes to claimed bike weights. Why? As we get increasingly overweight, it's easier to just buy a lighter bike instead of eating well and exercising. So some manufacturers will fudge the figures or outright lie to sell their products. Some manufacturers use wet weight or curb weight, everything you need to ride the bike. However, some manufacturers include a full tank of fuel or at least some fuel. Others like KTM don't include fuel. Then we have dry weight, <laughs> and here it gets interesting. Like the wet weight, some manufacturers will include everything except fuel, but then others remove other fluids as well. Engine oil, radiator coolant, fork oil, rear shock oil, and brake fluid. Even more bizarre, sometimes they not only remove the battery, <laughs> but also the tires. Unless the manufacturer has been specific about how they calculate their claimed weight, don't rely on their information. Classic example has been Sherco's claimed weight on their 300 four-stroke. For years, they've claimed an incredible 102 kilograms, making it even lighter than their two-stroke model. Is this black magic or bullshit? We decided to weigh our own Sherco on our industrial scales. It came to 120.75 kilograms. We then subtracted fuel, skid plate, hand guards, radiator guards for a weight of 110 kilograms. Even subtracting all other fluids, we could only arrive at Sherco's claimed figure of 102 kilograms by removing the battery and tyres as well. I have asked a Sherco distributor about this. <laughs> he just smiled and changed the topic quickly. So our conclusion, one, don't put too much trust in anybody's claimed weights. Two, find out what the manufacturer is and isn't including. Three, stop focusing on weight too much. Unless you are an exceptional rider, a few kilograms ain't gonna affect your riding that much. It might be better to focus on your riding skills instead. And if you have to focus on weight, why not focus on your own weight instead? Get fit, eat well, lose some weight. Your bike <laughs> will be very happy. Actually, we have done a video about reducing your bike's weight. It's called Dirt Bike Weight Reduction on our YouTube channel. Yeah, shake it, baby. Ooh, yeah. I love your love handles. I want to see you wait and they wait. You want a piece of this? Your bike that is, not me. Bummer.